for Drew's News. Rossi, you have a story that you brought to the table. Well, that's right, Drew. You know, uh, my favorite group ever, my first concert, was the Spice Girls. Thank you very much. Uh, and I have a story about fashion maven Victoria Beckham. The Wall Street Journal reports she is semi-horrified by some of her old 90s looks, uh, but her kids think they're really cool because 90s style is totally coming back. And I tell you the best uh, Victoria Beckham story, though, ever? Uh, spill, please. Okay. So one time I was covering the Olympics in London, and I was flying back, and I sat in the plane, and I'm all ready, and then who walks in but Posh Spice? And she sits behind me. So I, because I'm me, I tweet, OMG, Posh Spice sitting behind me on a plane. Send. And then the captain's like, we're going to sit on the tarmac for a while. I'm like, oh, no, oh, no. Because then she taps me on my shoulder, <laughs> and she's like, Hello, I saw you tweeted about me, right? I was like, hi, oh, just kidding, just kidding. And then the plane took off, and she was in like a sideways black hat and a mini dress, everything, stilettos this big. She went into the bathroom, and guess what? Changed into like full head to toe cashmere? Leggings and Uggs and a long sweater. It no. was everything. It's like I didn't even think she would own that. Uggs, Drew. Uggs, right? And then she comes back and she talked to me like the whole flight. She was so nice. And I was like, is this the same like Victoria Beckham? And then guess what? Right before we landed, back in the bathroom, put on the Victoria Beckham outfit, right? And then when we landed, she got out and the paparazzi was all over her. And I just like, I'm like, did that happen? Was I really next to Victoria Beckham in Uggs on a plane? And I've never seen her again since. <laughs> Well, why don't I tweet her and tell her to come on the show? Yes! <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, please! Come on! My old friend, Vicky. Um, well, we've got some breaking science news. I read this in the New York Times, and I was really fascinated with it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, the BBC reports that surgeons in the U.S. have successfully tested a pig kidney transplant into a human. Now the recipient um, didn't reject it, and it's functioning normal. Yeah. Um, so it could have a very big impact because 90,000 people a year are usually waiting for a kidney. This is just so, I don't even know what to think of it other than I can't believe that this is actually happening. It seems like something out of a futuristic novel or movie. Well, it's the beauty of science, you know, and how miraculous that this person's body didn't reject the part. You know, there was a side effect, though. He turned into a real ham. <laughs> was... Sorry, you were, you were just bacon for that one. I had to give it to you. Um, and before we go, I would love to give you guys a pick from the Little Yellow Book, which is a list and guide that I make personally to curate stuff that I think maybe you would want to know about. No, there's no life-altering intestines in there. But um, <laughs> they always say, eat your greens. Also, as a mom or just someone who can enjoy the sweet stuff in life, I am obsessed with these, okay? They're from a company that my friend Don Russell makes. Mm -hmm. It's called Eight Greens. It's really extraordinary. And so they just made these new lollipops. And I thought, you know what? When people want a sweet treat, this actually is made with honest-to-goodness greens. And it's going to surprise you because you think, oh, uh, okay. Uh, 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 whoa, whoa. I I thought it was going to taste like a salad. Mm -mm. That is delicious. And I'm telling you, with every lick, you're basically getting a bite of a salad. Spinach, aloe vera, wheatgrass, kale. Say what? Uh huh. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> John Russell mm -hmm. and Eight Greens. You have done it again. I can't wait to give these to my kids and enjoy them for myself. I hope you enjoy them too.